Hi guys and welcome to a motion animation in Adobe Anime. There, as you can see a bird chasing after those worms. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to put this tutorial together. So, okay, let's start a new project. I'm going to come in here, select new. And there we go, I'm going to click on create. And right there, my development environment is ready. The first thing I want to do is I need to go straight to the asset right here. Select the assets, and I need this very yellow template. Okay, or yellow tempo it's called. Drag that and drop it there, dead center. I'm going to increase the size of it to, let's go for about 1,400 there and i'm going to get it centered where is center alignment it's not right there so let's go straight into windows click on windows and let's look for align there we go or you can always press ctrl k next time there we go there is aligned there and that is it right there now i'm going to now add another layer okay this other layer would be for the shining background so let me lock this up and come right here you see my asset i want this very other layer to be right on top of this very layer here click on that um it's not right here so we might as well just type it out shine and drop this down there we go that is shine there We'll grab shine, drop shine right there, and shine will officially create its own layer. Move shine right on top of the yellow one and make sure shine is selected. Come straight to the properties. I'm going to make shine 1400 as well. And let's make sure it is dead center. There we go. If I run it, all you will see is just shine all over the place and you can see the sun just going round and round. So let's end that. Make sure it is selected. Let's come right down here. We need the the color effect. Click on the color effect. I'm going to select alpha. And there we go. You can increase it how you want or just decrease it like that. All right, that is fine. That's good enough. If I run the program now, this is what you see. It's like you're in a desert and the sun is seriously shining on you okay let's end that now the next thing we want to do is we now need to grab some images so let's go straight into my library there and i need the following images let's click on them there we go i need all of these all of the ins or uh, the worms drop the one there i also need the bird flying okay one two okay five of those as well let's grab the five and drag the bed drop it there all right minimize that we have the beds we have the worms okay i'm going to lock all of these up now let's create a new layer there this very new layer i'm going to just call it beds there grab one of the beds drag it and just drop it there okay that's the bed that will be flying across this very bed let's see what's the size okay let's make it about 160 by 160 let's see okay that's good enough for me now right click on it and let's convert it to symbol i'm just going to call it bed fly bed flies and it's a movie clip there we go that's my bed fly right there okay now double click on it now we now need to go back to the library go to the layer of this bed fly once you double click on it okay now i'm going to go to frame number two let's press or right click and just select create or insert blank keyframe there we go now grab bed fly number two 
drag it and just drop it right here as you can see you should be able to see a crosshair there drop it drop it right there now i'm going to increase the size of that to 160 by 160 as well there we go and make sure it is dead center though yeah so now go to frame number three right click insert blank keyframe grab bed fly number three drop it right there let's increase the size to 160 by 160 as well there we go all right now bed fly number four let's go back in here number four right click and select blank keyframe drag number four i think this is number four need okay i think one of these will be number four let's just grab it and drop it in there increase that to 160 by 160 i think that will do right so i should be able to simulate flying okay move this one we'll right up here okay right okay let's grab number let's go to number five and press and enter f7 as well f yeah f7 come back to blank keyframe and come in here i'm going to grab bed fly number one this very one oh let's see let's see the arrangement yeah okay let's grab this very one okay right here and just drop it there drop it there and that will be 160 by 160 right that's fine okay so that is my flight simulation all right then i'm now going to go back to the scene that is the scene right there click on there and that is bed flies itself let's reduce this so that we can see where the bed fly is i'm going to move the bed fly somewhere here so that the bed actually fly across the desert right there okay that's fine now this very bed fly we can even copy this our symbol because it is a symbol just hold on to control and press b that's control b give you another bed flies okay control d again another one we have about three so let's select the three bed flies if you select them we can go straight into let's go to about 240 right there and just press f5 and copy it across okay for bed fly at 240 right click and let's create insert keyframe there we go that's our keyframe there just drag the bed flies across across the desert and right click anywhere there on the timeline and select create classic 20. yeah let's say combat here yeah, that's fine there we go now let's run it and see the bed shoe flies across the desert you see that those are the bed flying across the desert now let's add some worms that this bed are ch chasing actually all right i'm gonna log that up i need another layer i think i have one spare layer here that's it move this layer right up there and it's very layer. i'm just gonna enter change the name to worms there we go all right okay that's fine so let's come in here we need the images for that i think i already have it there we go i have them yeah one two three okay all right that would do so drag the worm and just dump it right there the worm is on the desert okay 
go in here or oh, undo make sure it's not locked now drag the worm the there we go and this very worm i'm going to right click on it and let's convert it to symbol i'm just going to call it worm and click on ok there double click on this very worm okay now we have the development area come right here frame number two press f7 to create a blank keyframe let's do that again frame number two f7 yeah blank keyframe drag one number two drop it right there okay now repeat the same thing frame number three press f7 one number four drag drop f7 and drag the worm again that's not that was four let's make this number four number five f7 or you can just right click and create blank keyframe drag and drop there we go so if you run it this is what you see okay we need to move this one dead to the center here yeah let's see all right that's the one simulated okay that's fine so i'm going to go back to the scene here and right here let me grab this very one move it down here somewhere here okay somewhere here is fine and i can even copy it control d okay so that will have more than one control d again another control d there we go there and those are the worms select all of the worms and let's scroll right down to frame 240 and press f5 to copy it across f5 copies it across at frame 240 right click on it let's enter insert keyframe and drag all of the worms across the desert there we go now right click anywhere between frame 1 and frame 240 and select create classic 20 and accept that click on ok there we go you see the arrow indicating this classic 20 is taken care of so let's run the program now you can go to control click on test scene and there we go look at the worms running away from the beds flying across the desert look at that and that's how you create your own animation in adobe anime so with that guys i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed you all have a nice day now and bye for now